hey y'all what's up welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is nikisha wise and today y'all i want to talk to y'all about energy vampires narcissists it's just like a little um quick story that i have to share i have to share this with you guys because this is one of the ways that you can tell that um that that person is an energy vampire and trying to cipher your energy okay and this is very real y'all and um i didn't figure this out until i became of age <laughs> but it's something that i've been new like i just never wanted nobody that close to me in that way i don't know you you know okay so the other day um i was in walmart and i went in there to get a money order and it was just me in line at first so wasn't nobody behind me or anything when i first walked up so i was the first one in line i walked up went to get my money order right and as soon as i turned around to leave there was this seven foot tall caucasian white man behind me i'm talking about right behind me too like say this is me right this is him so once i went to turn around i almost ran him over like i i had to like put brakes on my shoes for real like my shoes was ready to go but he was like right there and so whenever i looked I looked at him. He was so close that whenever I almost ran into him, I looked up. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I was like, what is this? I thought maybe somebody had put something right there behind me. <laughs> like, but no, for real, y'all, listen. This, this is real. Like, this is so real. And it's like, why is you standing directly behind me? And it's like, he didn't have no emotion really on his face. And that's because he knew exactly what he was doing. He couldn't even pretend like that was okay. He couldn't even pretend like it was an accident because he knew that it wasn't. He just was think, banking on me not knowing that what he was doing. But I knew that he was trying to cipher some of my energy. Um, a lot of them do do that, you know. And it's supposed to be like a six foot, six feet apart type thing going on, right? And all that space back there, it wasn't nobody behind him either. He was second in line. And so... Once I went to leave, I left, I left or whatever. And a few minutes later, I see him again. He's walking right beside me and um, headed in another way with still with no really, no real expression, no, no nothing. This is the way he moved and it let me know that he was a, he was a demon. It was a demon in him, you know? And I'm so grateful for my experiences because if I wouldn't have, if I hadn't, had, if I hadn't have experienced a lot of things that I experienced, I wouldn't even know that, you know? know about this is that that i want you guys to keep in mind is that these demons and demonic energies negative energies they can sense who has light you know they can sense who has a lot you know has high vibration you have to um know that as well so by me being protected he couldn't cipher my energy and it's probably why i couldn't really fit you know that's another thing usually i can feel when somebody is close to me I couldn't really feel him back there so I'm gonna figure that part out but I couldn't really usually I can feel everything but I couldn't really truly feel him back there I felt like a little something but I couldn't really feel him and these energies they know they know who has a lot of energy and light in them and they know who doesn't and so you have to be out here protected you have to have your arm of God on it at all times because you never know um, if I wasn't protected then he probably could have ciphered my energy and I would have been feeling weird for the rest of the day, not even knowing why. You know, I probably would have had a headache or something, wouldn't know why, you know, or or anything. But that was definitely a, a demonic entity that was behind me. And um, these things do that a lot. That's how you can tell when they want to invade your space. That is a narcissist. Regular people don't do that. I, I'd never do that. I don't even want to be that close to nobody, period. You know, because it just feels funny. Like, why would I invade your space? You know, narcissists are habitual line steppers, and they do they do do that like in a lot of in a lot of ways. A lot of them even will go as far as to touch you. And I remember going off on one lady before a long time ago. I said, "Don't, hey, don't put your hands on me now. Don't put your hands on me because I don't trust you, and I know I know something is very evil about you. I don't want you touching me now." And luckily, he didn't touch me. I thank God that he did not touch me. But yeah, y'all. Because I don't like when them things touch me, y'all. They disgusting, you know? 
but yeah that's what i want to tell y'all you know <laughs> Be careful out here, even when you in the grocery store doing whatever you need to do when you shopping. Um, don't be letting people put their hands on you. Don't let them stand too close to you either because that is um, another way that they can cipher people's energy. Because, you know, if you get close to a person with high vibration, you are automatically going to pick up on that. Or if you're around people with negative, just as well if you are around people with negative vibration and low frequency energy, it can affect you as well. So yeah, I hope I explained it right, y'all. And um, I will talk to y'all later. Okay. I love y'all. Bye.